Pokemon in the scene. Wow. And also I've done some rotos. I want to see me doing that, but I've rotoscoped the main character as he walks back and forth. That I specify the ground plane that we see here. And I can help the software by doing some modeling. So I'm going to show where are the columns. So for instance, here, 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 and the rest. So now I've shown everything where the 3D. I never moved the camera in the original footage. So, but now I know about the 3D, so I can do some cool effect. Like for instance, I can go inside the scene. Wow. Wow. I can look around. So of course, there are some places I don't have the information. But... Dude, dude, seriously, that's like Blade Runner. <laughs> Remember, they go in the photograph, and the woman with the snake charmer woman, and they see the scale on her. So now my character, and let me see. So I can do something. So I can move this character around. And because I know it's 3D, I know when I go far away, it becomes small. And when I come back, it becomes yeah, the right size. That's insane. That is seriously insane. I can also hide it behind the column, because I know there's a column here. So I can put it here different places. But, you know, let's say I, I like it. Dude, you could make a lot of money from this program. Incredible. <laughs> <laughs> and, of course, I can do the same thing. I can move the camera while I play the video. So here is a bit slow-mo, but it would be fast if I had, you know, a full workstation. So I can move back and forth, and I have a second one coming in. Wow. Right? Yeah. And remember, I never moved the camera at the beginning, it was all on the tripod. That's ridiculous.